biggest crossover boxing event ever. Live on the Zone pay per view October 14th. Sign up at DAZN.com. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. It's been a while. James Hennigan, my man. Good to see you. Pleasure in my manner today. Um, yeah, how are we feeling, mate? Feeling good, you know. Good to be down here. It's a big, big event, you know, for a big show. And happy to be down here, taking it all in. Yeah, I suppose. It's about what goes on in the ring, and we'll talk about your fight in a minute, and that'll be a fight you want to win to kind of catapult yourself further to achieve what you want to achieve. Um, I suppose you've got to soak all these little things in. Part of being a boxer is doing the press conference and the interviews, etc., and kind of getting comfortable in front of the camera. So I guess it's moments like this in these media days you've got to kind of soak in and enjoy. Yeah, definitely. For me as well, I, I find this stuff the hardest stuff. It is, this is the stuff I need, I need more work on, you know. When, when I'm in the ring and I'm, and I'm in sparring, training, I, f I feel comfortable, but this is the stuff that makes me a little bit uncomfortable, so I've got to get used to this a bit more and soak it all in and enjoy it, because it's, you know, it is something that I feel like a lot of boxers don't take in, or, or when it's a bit too late after the career, they start to look back at everything, so I'm trying to take it all in, all of my stride. I promise I won't ask you questions that are too hard. Um, your fight with Dan for the central area, uh, vacant belt, um, talk to me about this fight, how it come about, kind of. I guess the negotiation sort of side of things and that's when you find out you're going to be on this show with that fight as well. Uh, to, be, to be fair, Fred, Freddy or Alfie rang me a few, about, well, about a month ago when uh, they mentioned it and he said, a bacon area title against Dan Catlin, like, yes or no, and I'm never going to say no to a fight, you know, especially a fight like this where it can, it can propel me on to the next level and push me towards where I want to be and, you know, I, Fights like these, I think once you get to a certain level, you can't turn down because you've got to be testing yourself to see where you're at and you won't ever progress if you don't take these fights. Is it the right time for you as well? You've had 10 fights. Is it 10 as a professional now? Yeah, 10. Um, you've done six rounders. I think you've done one eight rounder as well. Um, so I guess kind of the right time to make that step up and have the championship fight and a fight that could potentially go over 10 rounds. The timing is right for you now. Yeah, 100%. I've, I've been asking for these fights since about my seventh fight and... And, and now I've finally got one, so it's, it's a time for me to prove it. But I think with terms of my progression as well, like I feel now I feel a more complete fighter than I did when I was asking for them fights. So it's all coming at the right time for me. And November 18th, I get a chance to show why I've been asking for them. Yeah, I think the first time we spoke was one of my first shows at IFL, like four years ago, an MTK show at the Olympia. Um, what's different about the James Hennigan then to now? Not just as a fighter, but I guess as a man, you... You look a lot different. Um, I know obviously you will be a better fighter, but what's different between the James then and now? I think uh, the James then's done a lot growing up. <laughs> he's, he's changed a lot. He's matured a lot. And, you know, the way I look at the sport now, it's I've I've started to take it in a bit more, and I, I feel like I've studied it a bit more in the time in between. Where I've always studied boxing, but even the mindset side of things, like now I, I couldn't be any more serious about it. And, like I've always took it seriously, but I like, have never been so focused. And and like I feel like as as a man, I've matured and. Like everything I try and learn off every day in the gym, every every session, every run, every, everything. I feel like I can learn something from it. Every coach telling me something, whether it be someone else's coach and sparring telling me, giving me a little pointer, I'll try to take that in. I feel like, so now I'm, I feel like I've, I've learned that much in from the three years since I've seen you back in the Olympia where I, I don't recognise myself. I've watched videos back then in my old fights. It seems like a while ago, I will say that. Um, so about Dan, what can you tell us about him as a fighter for those who perhaps haven't seen Dan before? From what I've seen of him, he, he comes forward, throws a lot of punches, and from from the earliest interviews, I've been saying when people start to do that, when you see how good that I think I can be, and and I believe if he comes and does that November 18th, that will bring out the best of me because I'm I'm, I'm a very good counter punch, I'm a very good, I my mean, reflexes are good, and you know you come and throw a lot of punches at me, I'll counter with just as many punches, and so I, I'm expecting him to come forward and push the pace on me, and that's something that's when I feel most comfortable when people come at me, so. That's how he comes and brings it on November 18th. Yeah, I know there's only been one knockout so far, but with longer rounds and a man who's willing to come at you and give something, um, how brilliant would it be if you could win by knockout? And could you not then out to lift this central area title? Yeah, I've been saying people come at me and I'll, I'll hurt them and I know I can punch and I don't feel like I've had the chances to do so against negative people. And the only time I did pick up when a, a knockout is when someone come at me and, and he was trying to get at me and he was trying to get in my face a little bit. And, and I got to stop it, so I believe I can do the same if someone comes at me non-stop, and that's what I'm aiming for November 18th. 